Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Ripple and XRP. Guys, we have so much to go over, a lot of deep connections. Listen, it's all about the connections. The connections are worth, it's, it's honestly unlimited value. Like the connections are so crucial in this space, especially when you are talking about the financial space, when we're talking about like, you know, massive, organizations around the financial system ripple seems like the pioneer around connections with significant leaders so with that stay tuned until the end of the video i want to start off with this tweet here from blockworks which is news galaxy ceo mike novogratz which we have listen we have a little bit of a you know different opinion on mike mikey what's going on mike but nonetheless you know he said that the ripple rolling sent shockwaves through the sec now listen I strongly believe that the ripple rolling was extremely significant. I know, listen, this is not new news, but I do think that the SEC is kind of at a, a, a one-way street where they have to walk down it and they have to walk down it with shame. First off, it opened the can of worms around Bill Himmon and the Himmon emails, and now we're getting a lot more information coming out. It's very significant stuff. Um, and honestly, like I, I, I say it 24 seven on this channel, like the SEC, we need to get rid of them. Abolish the SEC. But it was waves, right? Like it was shock waves throughout the entire industry. I mean, it wasn't just the SEC, it was the entire industry. We've seen it. And it was extremely exciting, especially to be an XRP holder. And I think that even today, more than ever before, it is still extremely significant. Now, I also want to go over here because breaking Federal Reserve announces outline of crypto related oversight at US banks. This is very interesting, especially the timing of this because we recently just seen the FedNow service launch last month. And now we're getting this. Now, of course, there's a few things in this that I do want to go over. The first thing is you know, the actual announcement from BlockWorks. And then I also want to go over the Federal Reserve Board provides additional information on its program to supervise novel activities in the banks it oversees. Now, first and foremost, we do see down here, according to a published outline of the program's aims, regulators will enhance the supervision of novel activities such as crypto asset custody, crypto collateralized lending, facilitating crypto asset trading, and engaging in stablecoin slash dollar token issuance or distribution. The program will also focus on distributed ledger technology and other technology-driven partnerships with non-banks to deliver financial services to customers. This is very significant. Now, over here, we do see kind of the same thing, except more so they're, they're kind of focused heavily on stablecoins. Now, listen, I've talked about stablecoins. They've mentioned XRP and XLM as stablecoins. So I do think that stablecoins is a loaded term that they're throwing out there. You guys know how they try to kind of wash the public away from like really kind of seeing the value behind crypto. Um, I do think that that is what they kind of do with the stable coin in quotation marks uh, term. I don't think they really understand it or maybe they're just doing it to manipulate the public. But I still think that this is very significant, especially considering that this is coming from the Federal Reserve. It's a huge statement. And also remember that just recently, a lot of people have been connecting the dots with the Federal Reserve, with some very large you know, players out there, with Ripple as well. And listen, is Ripple working with the Federal Reserve? Because I've talked about this many, many times. One of the biggest things that I will say around this space is that we cannot overlook the board of directors at Ripple. Even the prior ones as well. Going over here, we see from the Federal Reserve, Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System. Michael S. Barr, the Vice Chair for Supervision. This is a significant player because we know that he was at Ripple for a while, going all the way back to July of 2015. Former Treasury official Michael S. Barr joins Ripple Labs. And you know, this is just one of many individuals. And also, by the way, you know, one thing that I... I always mention when we, we talk about these prior individuals that were at Ripple, you know, they seen it. They seen the value here. 
For example, here's what Barr said. I'm excited to be joining the advisory board of Ripple Labs. Our global payment system is badly outdated. I think innovation in payments can help make the financial system safer, reduce costs, and improve access and efficiency for consumers and businesses alike. Hmm. Interesting. And by the way, this is an individual that even before the Federal Reserve, he was serving on a number of private sector government and nonprofit advisory boards, including the FDIC Committee on Economic Inclusion, the Washington Center for Equitable Growth, and the U.S. Financial Diaries Project. Interesting, right? Now, shout out to Matthew Lynn White over on Twitter. We do see Ripple is directly working with the BIS. Bank for International Settlements, the central bank for central banks. Let that sink in. You know, one thing that I will say is that I've mentioned this before. Remember going all the way back to July 9th of this year? That's right. I said, while retail continues to be distracted by nonsense, I continue to focus on the big connections behind the scenes. The other day, I uncovered a few documents with the IMF and utility theory. Also shared a ton of information as well. These documents 100% confirm that there is a systemic change coming to the global financial system. I am rolling the dice and betting on the utility assets that are mentioned in the IMF slash BIS slash world documents like or the World Bank documents, sorry, like XRP, XLM, XDC, QNT, etc. I strongly believe in other projects too. I mentioned them as well. Utility is the key and will be the key, but first we need a regulatory rug pull of the garbage in this space. Uh, connections slash networking is happening. This technology is being trialed slash tested by giants within the global system. It's only a matter of time. Things are moving fast, but many don't realize it. And I'm just going to retweet this uh, just to make sure that everyone is aware of how significant this is. I'm going to play it in this video. It's about roughly uh, three minutes. It's from myself. Listen closely to this video. Not enough people are paying attention to the connections with Ripple to the new financial system. Big players like the BIS, for an example, are hosting these events with, of course, Ripple being there in person through Brooks Entwistle. And this is collaborating to deliver a new payment system innovation. Um, meanwhile, going all the way back to 2017, we do see distributed ledger technology in payment clearing and settlement. Also, just recently going back to January of 2021, we do see distributed ledgers and the governance of money. And then just recently this year, April 19th, the BIS, the Bank of England, concluded DLT settlements pilot. This is synchronization between its real-time growth settlement system with also another RTGS system. And then also recently, June 16th, the BIS, the Bank of England, complete CBDC trial using blockchain. This is through Quant Overledger technology. Of course, with Quant Overledger technology, we do have a lot of exposure to Bitcoin, Ethereum, Hyperledger Basu, XRP, Polygon, Polkadot, XDC, Hyperledger Fabric, Avalanche. And also, by the way, pay attention to Hyperledger Fabric and Hyperledger Basu because that's where you see connections to Hedera, Casper and so many other blockchain technologies and DLTs as we do look at this quant is at the center point connecting the BIS the Bank of England all of these major central banks and institutions to these types of technologies it is crucial to pay attention to also mind you Bank of England with the CDC trial is all through synchronization of two central bank digital currencies Mind you, going all the way back to July of 2017, we know that Ripple collaborated with the Bank of England on a proof of concept to achieve synchronization between two different currencies across two different real-time growth settlement systems linked using Ripple's Connect and the Interledger Protocol. Whether it be ILP or whether it be Quant, it does not matter. We know that synchronization has already been achieved. Ripple has already been a part of a proof of concept. I'm not saying that this is 100% going to be Ripple utilized or anything like that. I'm just saying that as we look at the major entities like the BIS, the Bank of England, the IMF, all of these organizations that are spearheading the move towards the new financial system are 100% confirming the move being made here. And I even outlined this over on Twitter as well with this new IMF document. If you guys do want to go check this out, I will link it at the bottom of this tweet. Um, as we look at what's happening, I even said over here that the best part about these documents isn't necessarily the connections to any particular assets or projects, but the confirmation of the disruption behind them and what is actually happening around the IMS, the International Monetary System, through these technologies and these currencies. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. If you guys did enjoy, definitely hit me up on Twitter with a follow and go over to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. 
So yeah, I mean, this is exactly what I mean by all of the major connections with Ripple. Like, they are, in my opinion, maybe... Like, listen, there is no way in my mind, no way in my mind that Ripple is not 100% tied to this new system. Let's go back to what Matthew Lin Y uh, posted. So here is the BIS. This is July of this year. This is literally the same month that we've seen Brooks Entwistle meeting with the BIS on this new financial system. Cross-border payments and interoperability and extension task force composition. Check this out. Here you have it. And uh, who do we have down here? From Ripple. Renee. I'm, I'm going to butcher her last name. I'm going to say it. Don't scold me down in the comments. Poison. Director of Payment Operations at Ripple. There's a ton of other players here. For an example, RTGS Global, which is also a company that is tied back to Ripple through um, a few endeavors. Uh, the Digital Pound Foundation, the Digital Euro Association. Uh, they're tied back to those two. And then also over here you have Wells Fargo. I mean, there's so many giants on here, but there's Ripple. Like Ripple is literally sitting next to the Bank of China, the Commonwealth Bank of Australia, Deutsche Bank. I mean, look at all of these giants. Wells Fargo's on here, Wise. I mean, come on, guys. What more do you want? And then also over here, Chad Steingraber did mention Ripple is working directly with the BIS on the cross-border payments and interoperability task force. You know, like the task force that led to FedNow, except this is like for the whole world. RippleNet cross-border ready. And uh, yeah, I mean, listen, as we really kind of look at everything happening here, there is not a single doubt in my mind that Ripple is tied back to, to all of it. Even talking about regulations. Remember this tweet that I included in like three videos already? Because of how significant it is, like we have re like regulations coming by the end of 2025. We already know that. But also we get a, a framework by uh, September 2023. We know in the recent cross-border payment document from Ripple, they mentioned the FSB. We know that the FSB gave recommendations to Ripple for, re uh, for regulations. Right. This is the recommendations. This is from December 15th, 2022. Ripple was able to comment on this. This is the FSB that got instructed by the IMF, the BIS and the G20 on global crypto regulations and their framework. And by the way, this is all around a level playing field globally that we do know Brad Garlinghouse was talking about back in 2020. Now tell me I am wrong that Ripple is 100% tied back to this new financial system, that they are 100% working with the elites. This is why I bet big on XRP. And also, JP Morgan, we're at a tipping point with ISO 2022. Check this out. Efficiency at the same time. Now, from a timeline perspective, um, you know, I think it's important to note that ISO 20022 is not necessarily new. It's been actually adopted by many low-value real-time payments or high-value payment systems in over 70 countries. However, what's significant in the next couple of years is that as high-value payment systems for major currencies, such as euro, US dollar, and GDP, will be moving to ISO, all of a sudden we have a tipping point and a critical mass in that over 80% of the world's transactions or the world's payment will be processed through ISO standards. And so why should FI efficiency? And this is all happening right now. We're at the tipping point with ISO 2022. Regulations are, are lining up perfectly. Ripple is meeting with massive giants like the BIS, the central bank of central banks. Do you guys see it? If you guys see it, definitely hit that like button and comment down below. Because I'm telling you right now, this is so massive. XRP, the standard. Comment, comment that down in the comments. XRP, the standard. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on if you guys want free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. Others, up to you all have a beautiful day or beautiful night. Wherever you guys are in this video, this has been Nick. Peace out, guys.